everyone, it's Melissa from MSTube TV, inspiring you to be the best that you can be. It is another edition of This Is 40. If you've been following every week leading up to my 40th birthday in October, I have decided to dedicate a week to someone that has made an impact in my life. Now this week is a two-part dedication and I'll get to it why in just a moment. The very first person, however, it's been a week of reflection. Uh, this person, it could also be kind of an addition of what's in the box, in the gold box that is. And this dedication for this week goes to my grandfather, Don Kane. It's almost been one year now since he has passed and he was a very special, doesn't even put it into words. He was an extraordinary man. He, he supported anyone and everyone he possibly could. He was involved in the community. He fought for his country in the war. He, he supported me in the craziest ideas I would ever possibly have. You know, I can remember being a kid, him taking me to swimming lessons and um, spending time at the cottage. And there are all those memories, but there are a couple things that really stand out. And one of them was this video camera right here. I don't think I would necessarily be where I am today or maybe doing what I am doing today if it wasn't for him. He was really passionate. It wasn't what he did. He just did it as a hobby, but he always filmed his family. He filmed my mom and my and her sister and my grandmother and the places they went and the things they did. And so being able to see old footage, it was extraordinary. And I was very fortunate. He never wanted to be in front of the camera, but the odd time, if I had a project, he and I really asked nicely, he would say yes. And so I'm very blessed to have some footage of him uh, in some of my shoots. As I said, he always supported everything I did. But if you're ever in MS2 Studios in the boardroom, look for this camera, you'll see it. Everything in my boardroom has a meaning or a reason why it's in there. Uh, whether it's a person that uh, has given it to me or has, again, made some sort of an impact or a difference in my life. But this camera is so very special because uh, just seeing the old footage and having the old, uh, the old reel, we've got one of those two that we play the footage on periodically, taking a trip down memory lane, there is truly nothing like it. But I, again, this, is, this was the magic as a kid that got me excited about taking pictures, photography, and then videography. And then now having a son, having my son Asher, uh, it makes me, of course, want to make sure that we capture all those moments. And, and sometimes I'm really bad because I don't get to capture all of those moments and I should be capturing more of those moments, shouldn't I? How can I help you, sir? You wanna say hello? Say hello! Can you say hi? Hi. Hi! There we go, right? It's all about making lifetime memories, right? Because you just never know, and you just bye never know. Bye you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so, of course, first week dedication, uh, our first person today to be dedicating uh, the day to, uh, the week to, is my grandfather, Don Kane. Second person, if the camera gets a little jittery here, whoa, that would be why, because my son is just underneath it. So move away from the tripod there, young man. All right, next person. So, total flip here. Uh, you're probably wondering why, uh, why the golf attire, right? Well, my grandfather also taught me how to golf and there was something that we had in common. And have you ever connected with somebody online first and then you meet them at, in person and they are even more than you imagined? Well, the other dedication for this week goes to, as I said, it's a two-parter. That would be my pal, Lisa Longball. Lisa, Shout out to her, an amazing woman. She is a seven time world champion for the lady, like for the longest drive. This, this woman knows how to golf. And if you want to learn about golf tips and tricks, she is your gal. So let me paint the picture for you. Another buddy of mine, Gare Maxwell, shout out to Gare, said you and Lisa would connect immediately. You guys are just meant for each other, right? So he connects us online. We tweet back and forth a little bit. I meet her just uh, in Edmonton this past year, uh, last year in November, no, in December at the CAPS convention that we were just at. And it's true. It's like, I always thought I was enthusiastic. She's me times 500. 
and she is full of spunk, full of talent galore, and just full of such enthusiasm. And she is so passionate about what she does. She is in fact so passionate. Uh, she had Nike as her sponsor, now Callaway is her sponsor this year because Nike, apparently, I didn't know this, is not going to be making golf attire anymore. But if you happen to pick it up, she's on the cover of Golf Tips. I think it's still out, the issue, yeah, it's the winter edition, so it should still be out on shelves. Fabulous write-up about, about Lisa. And something else that's very cool, and I love this, Lisa, you did a great job with it. She has her own uh, class, so you can, it says, learn tips from a world-class long drive champion. So Lisa Longball Drive determines the distance, uh, and she is going to tell you all sorts of things on like correct, uh, correct grip, better posture, picking a target, making a good turn. It's phenomenal, I love it. It's on a USB, pop it into your computer, and away you go, and her bloopers at the end are phenomenal. And I love, Lisa, I absolutely love not only all of the education and the knowledge, but the fun factor that you bring to it as well in your videos, and, and all of even the pro tips. So here's a good one. This pro tip I absolutely loved, uh, because she says, you know, when you're about to mark the ball, when you're about to putt, don't take the marker off your glove or don't take uh, some of the other things you have. Take, so you have, if you have any old coins, perhaps of some special places that you traveled, if you're like me, they're all, I've got mine all in like Ziplocs from all the different countries. And then if you go back, you pull the Ziploc and away you go, right? With what you have, but take a coin and use that as a ball marker. I love that idea, I never thought of that. And she said, that will make you look more like a pro. So in honor of you, Lisa, that's why I'm in my golf attire today because you have me wanting to get out on the links. I wanna get out there and start practicing again. I am not a winter person. I am by far a spring, summer person. So golf season, definitely my season and I'm ready to get out there and get at it. So Again, this week, dedication goes to my grandfather and Lisa Longball, and Asher makes a return. You know what we say, right, Asher? The impact you have on others is the greatest currency there is. So who are you? Who are you going to make a, a dedication to this week that's made an impact on your life? Thanks. Oh, big boy. Good boy. Thank you. Yeah.